Hey there, everyone! Welcome back to the land of Indinus. Time to enter the Cashua Glacier. Here we will find... Oh, that's a thunderbolt. I thought that was something else. It's on up here. You really need to focus to do additions in this place because the, uh, you know, the white backgrounds and stuff can make it kind of difficult to, like, focus on it. <laughs> I should switch to something that isn't Madness Hero until I unlock the next edition, because there's no point using that right now. Hard blade. These things have really high physical defense. Yes. Go. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. Let's go crush dance. Crush dance or volcano would be equally good. Now we got the heat blade. Yeah, it lowers your attack, so eh, I ain't gonna use it. I mean, it would be kind of more effective against the monsters here, but really, it's not necessary. Also, sorry if I sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I got a bit of a sore on my tongue. I'm not sure if it's affecting my voice any. I'm, I'm trying to talk normally. Now, those things can really stretch out their arms. Yeah, Dart's dishing out the damage now. Dang it, I am always screwing up on that addition. Why is spinning cane so hard for me? I mean, Rod Typhoon. Wait. That's uh, Rod Typhoon, right? I think it is Rod Typhoon. How is it that I just forget things like this? It is Rod Typhoon. Fatal Blizzard is that uh, one attack Linus used against us in her first fight. 
Not sure if another enemy has used that since then. Or if I've used one at all. Got a Meteor Fall. So yeah, up will lead to the next dungeon, but we can't go there yet. So let's just go down here and get the uh, treasure chest for now, and then we will go to the Tower of Flanville. Huh, I don't know what that noise was. Something hit my computer. I guess it was my controller cord. It must have fallen. I didn't realize it or something. Never mind what I said about those things having high physical defense. They are actually very weak. Heavy mace. That is for Hashel, I believe. Hold on a second. What is the heavy mace? Wait. I'm confused. <laughs> I thought the heavy mace was for Hashel. Or do I already have one? And it like skipped over it or something? <laughs> yeah, it'd be helpful if um, all the weapons didn't use like a sword icon. Who is the heavy mace for? Oh wait, I'm an idiot. It's, it's for Maru. Because a mace is a hammer. I could have sworn at one point there was a game I played which called a fist weapon a mace. I, I, I'm not sure which one that was. But it was like some kind of like, you know, I think a gauntlet or something. I don't know. I may actually be completely wrong here, but... I remember I used to have a misconception that a mace was like a uh, gauntlet weapon. I guess sometimes I still get confused on that for some reason. I'm not sure why I had that misconception. I think at one point I also thought a mace was a uh, morning star. That might actually be what I'm thinking of, because I remember there was a... I think there was a game that had, like, a morning star weapon, and I think they called it a mace. I'm not entirely certain, but... I do seem to remember that. Die. Hard blade. Well, you guys have shorter attention spans than me. I don't think we actually need anything. Oh, hey, our items are actually maxed. Let's see if we can sell something. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to use these stupid attack balls and recovery balls. Nah, I'll still use them. I don't really need these, though. I'm not sure if I've showed all these. 
We've seen gushing magma, though. Uh, flash hall. Okay, that, that, that right there is a... Yeah. I don't really want to sell these, because these are like... Uh, tier 3... Things. Ah, whatever. That's good. My other brother is at the other place. That's very informative. Thank you. Get some good stuff for your characters here. I don't... Nah, I don't think I'm gonna buy that. Magic defense is not something we want to lose at this stage of the game. Dancing Ray. I don't know how in the world Dart is climbing up pillars made of ice. But he's able to do that somehow. There's a Phoenix Plume. If you don't kill the red birds, that's the first place you actually get one in the game from a chest. Oh, that don't sound very good, does it? Another fatal blizzard? I might as well throw some of these things in this fight. Like, we don't need to save our attack items for special monsters or anything anymore, so... I might as well just get them out of my inventory. Maybe not in this fight, though. Yeah, not in this fight. I guess if anyone should throw them, it's Dart. Because <laughs> he doesn't have any additions to, you know, Master right now. Okay, it's everything here. Well, maybe they're an ice monster. I mean, monsters and creatures can live in cold places if their bodies are designed for them to live there. So yeah, this crazy looking thing is the Wendigo. Wendigo is kind of misspelled. That should be an E, not an I at the beginning. Yeah, actually, that, that would be like a really bad pun if this thing was Wind Elemental. But it's not. Anyway, this is an interesting boss because there's actually two ways to kill this boss. For one thing, this boss has massive HP. Like, I'm not sure of the exact number, but I'm pretty sure this thing has, like, double the HP of the Divine Dragon, but, uh, on the other hand, though, it doesn't have very high physical defense, so it's not hard to do damage to it. 
And plus, well, since it's water elemental, you know what that means. It's weak to fire. So you can probably guess what I'm going to do in this fight. Although, before I kill it, though, I would kind of like to show off something. Because it does something interesting that I would like to show. And it involves the uh, secondary or alternative method for killing it. I'm not sure if it does it after a set number of turns or if you have to do a certain amount of damage to it first. I'm gonna try guarding though. I mean, I could I could just keep attacking it and whittling it down, but that would uh, lessen the impact of what I'm going to do. Let's just put it that way. Darn it, every time it grabs me, I keep thinking it's gonna do the thing, but it doesn't. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and attack it again. This thing has a lot of HP. Well, ah. oh, good thing I had her guard. It's a time-based thing, it shouldn't be long before it does it. Well, you might have to get it into yellow HP. You know, get it below half. I don't want to waste too much time stalling here and, like, you know, nothing getting done in this fight. That attack is really cool to me, by the way. I, I always like that attack animation there. Oh, is that the first time I've goofed that up? On this playthrough, anyway? Looks like it would really knock the breath out of you. You know, actually, it's fine if I get this thing down to half HP. Oh, here we go. Yeah, eventually it'll capture a character. It might hit us. Okay, it's not half HP. You know, I really don't know if that's time-based or not. Also, I'm going to use a Healing Fog on Dart. Yeah, these things are Ice Elemental, and I'm pretty sure they can really hurt Dart. Heh, <laughs> missed. The snow cannons are pretty easy to take down, though. In fact, you know... Hmm. Let's go ahead and use this up. Hey, you can't even see the percentage! There we go. Yeah, when you destroy the snow cannons, it'll toss the character back out. 
And now its rib cage will stay open for one attack, so you can actually attack the heart. Now, the heart will only take one damage. It's like the special monsters. I think it has three or four HP total. And if you can defeat the heart, well, yeah, it kills the monster instantly. And on that note, you can use a sachet to do 10 damage to it and instantly kill it. So that's a really quick way to finish the fight. But there's another equally effective method for finishing this fight really quickly. And we're going to do that right now. I guess I'll go ahead and attack the heart. Why not? Okie dokie. Time for the Wendigo to meet the Red-Eyed Dragon. Well, prepare for hilarity. Yeah, and look at that, it's still alive. You know, actually, I thought it was going to do more damage than that. You know, actually, I think this is the first time I've ever used the dragon against the Wendigo. Because usually when I fight the Wendigo, I don't have... Oh, wow, I goofed that up. Uh, usually when I fight the Wendigo, I don't have Dragoon level 5 for Dart. I usually just use Final Burst three times. Oh yeah, it can also use Magic. It's probably going to use Fatal... No, it's using uh, the Icicle move. Which is pathetic, because Dart is in Dragoon form. And, moreover, he has Power Up on. But yeah, I usually just use Final Burst against this thing, like, twice. <laughs> Which might actually do more damage in total. But, not a big deal. It's almost dead anyway. Someone's not very happy. Things should be just about dead. Sure, I'm pretty sure it's doing that to me as a counterattack. Because whenever it attacks twice in a row, one of them's a counter. Yeah, I'm still not gonna do that. <laughs> there, there, there will come a time when I try to do a full edition again with Lavitz, but until I'm sure, I mean, Albert. I'm still calling him Lavitz sometimes by mistake. But, uh, yeah. The time is not right now. Brass Knuckle. Now that is a weapon for Labbits. I mean, Hashel. 
Why am I calling everybody Lavitz? Seriously. I mean, we barely defeated it. I mean, it had tons of HP, sure, but... <sighs> Easy, boss. And there... Oh, no, there's a chest there. I am about to say there's nothing there. Black Rain. That's a darkness attack, if the name didn't make it obvious. Well, here's the Tower of Flanvel. It definitely looks like something a Wingleys would build. Could fly. I mean, haven't we already established the Wingleys had entire flying cities? Why is a flying tower that much of a shock? We will put a stop to his ambitions here. So many attack items that I really don't need. Icicle ball that I was fighting before used power up, didn't it? That's probably why it, why I thought I had such high defense. I guess I didn't notice that it used power up or something. Yeah, it must have, because I remember Rose doing like close to that amount of damage to it before. Dart did about the same. Hold on a sec. Okay, just checking. Oh, time to climb the tower. Spirit ring. Well, pretty sure that re that restores SP every turn, or maybe every time you get attacked. Now here we've got a bit of a maze. <laughs> I can never remember the exact way through here, so I just take random teleporters. Well, not random teleporters, but yeah. Okay. It's not too hard to find your way through, though. There's actually a much more complicated version of this, which is optional. But we'll get to that later. Majoring. That probably increases max MP. I think this one will take us up here. Yeah, okay, that one's completely pointless. Time to finally settle up with Lloyd. Hmm. I think I'll... Ah, I'll use a healing breeze. Alright. Anyway, we will battle Lloyd in the next episode. Ah, let's go ahead and save here. See you, everyone.